there's probably a woman out there that's like, I don't get it, the Betty body, but her name is Stephanie and she has a great body. Why, why the title? Why the Betty body? This is a really good question. And I thought so long and hard about the title for this book. And I, I did not want it to be a recipe for becoming me. I mean, in the book, I talk about things that I have learned and that have worked for me. But the Betty body is, is a movement. It is not, it's not, it's not formulaic, like here's cookie cutter. This is how you look like Stephanie Estima. It's, it's a movement for women to look their best, no matter how old they are, no matter how much weight they think they have to lose. And it's not about looking a certain way. It's, and that was really, and I actually put that in the subtitle as well. It's like intuitive eating, a geeky goddess's guide, g -g -g, my favorite, geeky goddess's guide to intuitive eating, because it's not about being a size zero or a size two or whatever. And if you're those sizes, like I love and I honor you. Right. But it's also, you know, if you're a size 14 or a size 18 or whatever, it's not about you looking like me. It's about you looking your best. And it might be that you don't change sizes, that you stay where you are, but you change your body composition. So you change the uh, the lean muscle mass that you have. You change your capacity to produce energy. You clear up your brain fog so that you actually feel like amazing in your skin. And that's what a Betty body is. Like, that's what it is. It's not about like, how do I look like Stephanie Estima? That's like super boring. Um, it's how do I actually love the skin I'm in? Because let me tell you right now, Bettys that are listening, that is a revolutionary act because this society, and this is, this is going to be my next book. We're talking about the female psyche. Next book is going to be on that, but it is a revolutionary act for you to love yourself because this society that we live in, it is patriarchal at times. It's toxic, wants you to hate yourself because that's why they sell you the mascara where your eye, your eyelashes go up to your, you know, and somehow that's going to find you love, you know, or yeah. if you yeah. have the bag that costs whatever amount, like that's going to bring you happiness. No, what's going to bring you happiness is actually a journey inward. It's not, it's not an exterior thing that's going to make you happy. It's you luxuriating and finding joy in your own body. In order to do that, we want to reduce inflammation so it feels good because who wants mm. like angry breasts and aching joints? Like we want to get rid of that stuff. We want to prioritize sleep. We want to get your, you know, food choices um, in line with your, like yourself, at, you know, the highest version of yourself. We want you to be able to distinguish between emotional eating and physiological, mm. like, a, you know, emotional hunger and physiological hunger. Right. Um, and that's, that's the rat, that's the radical part of the book. And I don't, I don't know if that comes through, like, it's not like a glaring flag, like, Hey, this is a book about feminism, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's actually what it is. It's like, mm -hmm. this is how you take back your power from a society that's taught you that you're broken and you're worthless unless you consume the products that they're peddling. <laughs> 